the ghost photographer. Supposing there was someone who could photograph the dead, bringing the departed back into view by your side. Well, one such person managed to convince a lot of people that he could do just that. He was able to provide photographs in which the deceased loved one posed for a photograph next to the grieving. Such was his impact and the extent of his influence that Mary Todd Lincoln, the wife of Abraham Lincoln, sought his services. His name was William H. Mumler. In 1861, William H. Mumler claimed to have taken a self-portrait. In it, William noticed a faint figure also present within the photo. William identified this figure as a dead cousin. At the time, spiritualism was quite popular and therefore there was an enthusiastic interest in William's photographs of spirits. Before long, William began photographing more dead people and word of mouth about this ability spread far and wide. Soon, William was charging customers for a photo of them and a deceased loved one. Although it is said he didn't promise one would appear. As you see, these photographs do indeed show faint ghostly figures, and it is understandable that in the era they were taken, it was convincing. There were no digital cameras, no photo editing software. Photography was in its infancy and belief in the afterlife was high. With that in mind, it becomes clearer why people believed. As mentioned in a previous video, Mary Ann Todd, the wife of Abraham Lincoln, believed in William's abilities and had her own photograph taken with her deceased husband making an appearance. Abraham Lincoln, or his likeness, can be seen standing behind her with his arms on her shoulders. In time, however, as William's customers grew, so too did his skeptics. An increasing number of people believed William to be a fake. There are accusations that many of the alleged ghosts appearing in the photo bore an uncanny resemblance to people who were still living, and sometimes appearing in multiple photographs from different people. There was a court case, and William H. Mumler maintained he was innocent. Due to the fact that it could not be proven that the photographs were faked, William was acquitted of all charges. He continued to produce his photos for a time, but due to the negative publicity, he was never as popular as he once was. And the man who photographed ghosts faded into obscurity. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, hit the like button or hit subscribe to see future videos.